So this is the uh, Honda Aquatrax R12X Turbo um, pump housing and the uh, impeller and then here's the uh, impeller drive shaft that uh, I'm going to be installing as well. Um, make sure to put marine grease around here before you slide it through the hull and then into the actual pump housing so it all lines up in there and um, uh, creates a better seal as well. Um, on this particular impeller, I'll just um, see if I can grab it and get it up here. Um, when you rub your fingers along the edges, there's a few little imperfections. So I've got a tiny little file and I've just been filing that top edge and then underneath gently file the underside and then rubbing your fingers along the edge of the blade you'll be able to um, feel if there's any imperfections there still. You don't have to do this but it's um, something that's easy to do with a, uh, a fine file that will just take those little nicks and chips off that stones um, from shallow water um, use of the uh, jet ski or from debris being sucked up out uh, uh, in the deeper water that flows through and creates little chinks and dings in the actual impeller blades. Um, so it's not going to make much difference probably in performance but um, it's easy enough to do with a small file while this whole setup is out um, and then you can get a nice edge. Make sure you don't flatten the edge, you want to still have it as a, um, as a sharpish curve going down that way and then slightly faced off on that way with the other side of the um, the other side of the file. And then eventually it'll be close enough to good. But you don't have to do that as I said I'm just being a little bit um, pedantic about it.